Welcome to Linux Help Tutorial. In this session, you are going to see about how to install Tiger VNC Server RAL and CentOS to access remote desktop. VNC is refers to Virtual Network Computing. It is a kind of a remote sharing system that makes it possible to take a control of any other computer connected to a network. Now I am going to show you how to install Tiger VNC Server in CentOS 6. For installing Tiger VNC, command is yeah, m install tiger vnc hyphen server hyphen y in my system already the tiger vnc server is already installed and it is the latest version so there is nothing to do now i am going to create a normal user that is user to connect to remote desktop for that user add space the name of the user now i'm going to create password for that user password space the username now the password has been created for the user now i'm going to set vnc password for user for that i am going to switch over to that particular user for that su space hyphen space the name of the user for setting the vnc password for that user command is vnc passwd now i have to type the password that i want to set for vnc for the particular user type again for verification now the password has been set to check the password file command ls space hyphen l slash home slash the name of user slash dot vnc now you can able to see a password file has been created inside the home directory of the particular user to whom i have created vnc password now i am going to create a vnc session for linux help for that I need to make for that I need to make changes in etc sysconfig vnc servers zoom slash etc slash sysconfig slash vnc servers inside that file below you need to make some changes as vnc server servers equal to double quotes one Linux help double quotes close. Action is VNC state square bracket u1 equal to double quotes hyphen geometry g e o m e t r y space one two eight zero into one zero two four geometry is refers to the desktop resolution of the vnc server after doing all the changes now save the file so i'm going to create x startup file for the vnc server user for that slash etc slash init dot d slash vnc server space start how the vnc server is getting started for linux help user now the x startup file has been created successfully now i'm going to show you for that ls space hyphen l slash home slash linux help slash hyphen vnc now you can able to see password file and x startup file and the log file for that user has been created for tiger vnc now i'm going to show you the port number for the linux user for that you need to move to cd home linux help and then press enter inside linux help cd dot vnc inside that vnc you need to open the dot log file then inside that log file you can able to see listening for vnc connection on all interfaces port number 5901 
that is the port number for the user Linux help. Now I'm going to open that port on IP tables. For that IP table hyphen capital A input space hyphen M state space hyphen hyphen state space new space hyphen M space TCP space hyphen P space TCP space hyphen hyphen D port and you have to mention the port number as 5901 for Linux user space hyphen J accept now the port has been added in the IP tables now I am going to save the IP tables for that service IP tables save now the IP tables has been get saved now I am going to restart the IP tables for that service IP tables restart now the IP tables has successfully get restarted now I am going to connect to VNC server I have downloaded VNC client now I am going to start VNC client for that CD space VNC now type VNC viewer now the VNC viewer has been started here you need to give the IP address to which you want to connect to that system remotely 192.168.5.103 colon port number which user you need to be get connected click OK it will be asking for password you have to enter the password tiger vnc now i am going to log in now i am using the linux cell through vnc vnc viewer thank you for watching for more information visit www.linuxhelp.com